This morning, there are reports that actress Natasha Richardson is in critical condition following a skiing accident. I just uh, told her I loved her, said, sweetie, you're not coming back from this. And made in Manhattan, 45 years old, married to actor Liam Neeson, being declared brain dead. Imagine a world where from a young age, you were destined for greatness in both the realms of movies and theater. A world that encapsulates Natasha Richardson's journey. You are so good, thank God. You should be a personal assistant. Her name resonates with both talent and tragedy, a dichotomy that adds depth to her legacy. Yet, before the fame and the heartbreaking headlines, who was Natasha Richardson? And what events paved the way for her unforeseen and sorrowful demise? Join us on a deeper exploration of the life of this remarkable actress, unraveling the narrative beyond the glamour to uncover the intricacies of her story. Natasha's early years and family background. Natasha Richardson's journey commenced on May 11, 1963, in the vibrant city of London, England. Born into a lineage saturated with theatrical brilliance, Natasha's roots were firmly embedded in the world of performing arts. Her father, the esteemed Tony Richardson, left an indelible mark as a director and producer, celebrated for his groundbreaking contributions to British theater and cinema. Alongside him, her mother, the legendary Vanessa Redgrave, stood tall as an iconic actress, casting her influence over the acting realm for more than six decades. Growing up in a household where the air was thick with the essence of drama, Natasha's childhood was an immersive experience in the captivating world of storytelling and performance. The Richardson family tree, intricately woven with the threads of artistic brilliance, set the stage for Natasha's predestined journey into the performing arts. Natasha's introduction to the industry was as organic as it was inevitable. With her family deeply entrenched in the realms of theater and cinema, it seemed as though the stage itself was her second home. Remarkably, at the tender age of four, Natasha stepped into the limelight with her inaugural appearance in front of the camera, featuring in her father's film, The Charge of the Light Brigade. This early foray into the world of cinema served as a prophetic glimpse into the illustrious career that awaited her, foreshadowing the remarkable path she would tread despite her early initiation into the realm of acting. Natasha Richardson's trajectory was far from a narrative of privilege or effortless celebrity. Driven to carve out her distinct path, she painstakingly earned her accolades through resolute dedication and rigorous training. The illustrious Central School of Speech and Drama in London became a crucible for Natasha's unwavering commitment to refining her craft. Within its hallowed halls, she illuminated her passion for the dramatic arts, plunging into the nuances of performance and cultivating a profound understanding of both theater and film. Her inaugural steps onto the stage came with her role as Helen in A Midsummer Night's Dream, a performance that not only showcased her versatility, but also unveiled her innate affinity for the arts. This was swiftly followed by a memorable portrayal of Ophelia in Hamlet, solidifying her burgeoning status as a rising star in the theatrical realm. Natasha's performances transcended mere act. They were vibrant expressions of her deeply rooted passion for storytelling and her natural ability to breathe life into characters. Her early career seamlessly wove between the intricate realms of stage and screen, showcasing the expansive range of her versatile talents. In 1986, Natasha's portrayal of Nina in The Seagull not only garnered critical acclaim, but also secured her the prestigious Drama Critics' Most Promising Newcomer Award. This significant milestone marked her ascent as a formidable presence in the vibrant landscape of London theatre, solidifying her position as an emerging star. Natasha's allure, however, transcended her illustrious lineage. It emanated from her distinct ability to captivate audiences through the sheer brilliance of her performances. As Natasha's career continued its upward trajectory, the irresistible allure of the big screen became undeniable. Her transition from the stage to film unfolded organically, propelled by her evolving artistic aspirations and the escalating demand from audiences eager to witness her prowess in cinematic roles, masterfully striking a harmonious balance between her theatrical endeavors and cinematic projects. Natasha Richardson not only showcased her adaptability as an artist, but also affirmed her unwavering commitment to exploring the expansive tapestry of storytelling across diverse mediums. Rising star. Approaching the dawn of the 1980s, Natasha Richardson, 
already steeped in the richness of a theatrical legacy, embarked on a transformative journey that would propel her beyond the realm of promising actress to become a star in her own right. Her ascent in the acting world was characterized by a seamless fusion of theatrical mastery and a burgeoning presence in cinema, laying the foundation for a career that would unfold as both diverse and illustrious. After her initial triumphs on the stage, Natasha's career blossomed, captivating audiences in London's West End with a repertoire of characters that underscored her remarkable versatility. Her portrayal of Nina in The Seagull not only garnered critical acclaim, but also showcased her prowess in handling intricate and emotionally charged roles. This period marked a whirlwind of success and growth for Natasha, as she effortlessly transitioned between diverse roles, each time leaving an indelible imprint of her talent. In 1985, Natasha made a significant leap into the cinematic realm with the film Gothic, directed by Ken Russell. This fantastical portrayal of the inspiration behind Mary Shelley's Frankenstein cast Natasha in the role of Mary Shelley herself. Her performance was nothing short of a revelation, seamlessly blending her theatrical expertise with the nuanced demands of film acting. It became evident that Natasha was not confined to the stage. She was equally adept in front of the camera. Natasha's career trajectory wasn't solely defined by the roles she undertook, but also by the deliberate choices she made in an industry often constrained by typecasting and easy stereotypes. She actively sought out roles that challenged her, pushing the boundaries of her acting prowess. This approach led her to embody a diverse range of characters, each distinct from the last, yet each delivered with the same profound depth and unwavering conviction. In the early 1990s, Natasha Richardson made a triumphant return to the stage, this time gracing Broadway with her compelling performance in Anna Christie, a portrayal that garnered her a well-deserved Tony Award nomination. This achievement marked a pivotal moment in her career, solidifying her reputation as a formidable actress on both sides of the Atlantic. Her depiction of the complex and emotionally scarred protagonist went beyond showcasing her talent. It stood as a testament to her remarkable ability to forge a deep emotional connection with her audience. The mid-1990s ushered in a period of transition and growth for Natasha. Balancing her love for the stage with her flourishing film career, she embraced one of her most challenging and rewarding roles in the Broadway revival of Cabaret in 1998. Natasha's portrayal of Sally Bowles was nothing short of a force of nature, earning her the prestigious Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical. This accolade underscored not only her versatility, but also her prominent position as a star in the world of theater. Simultaneously, Natasha's film career experienced a surge during this period. In 1998, she graced the screen in The Parent Trap, a beloved family comedy where she played Elizabeth James. In this role, Natasha brought a distinctive warmth and charm to the screen, capturing the hearts of a new generation of fans. This particular role unveiled a different facet of Natasha's talent showcasing her ability to illuminate the screen with her presence and deliver a performance that was both heartwarming and humorously engaging. What truly set Natasha Richardson apart was not just her undeniable talent, but her fearless spirit to explore and take risks. She ventured into the realm of television, engaging in a diverse array of projects that underscored her versatility as an actress, spanning historical dramas to contemporary thrillers. In each endeavor, she approached her roles with unwavering dedication and a commitment to excellence. Behind the scenes, Natasha was known for her consummate professionalism, warm demeanor, and an infectious sense of humor that created an environment of ease for everyone around her fellow actors, crew members, and fans alike. Her captivating personality extended beyond the screen, making her not only a respected figure in the industry, but also a beloved one. Natasha Richardson's rise to stardom transcended mere performances. It was a captivating journey of artistic evolution. Navigating the complexities of her career with both grace and determination, she steadfastly clung to her profound passion for acting. Her trajectory, evolving from a young actress bearing a famous last name to a luminary in her own right, stood as an enduring testament to her inherent talent, relentless work ethic, and the singular spark she infused into every role. In the expansive constellation of stars within the acting realm, Natasha radiated brightly, imprinting an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of audiences and peers alike. Her legacy perseveres as a profound testament to the enduring potency of talent, unwavering dedication, and the distinctive brilliance she brought to the art of storytelling. Success on screen and stage. 
As Natasha Richardson's career advanced through the late 1990s and early 2000s, she reached unprecedented heights of success, leaving an indelible mark on both the screen and the stage. Her seamless transition between these two mediums not only highlighted her versatility as an actress, but also solidified her status as a celebrated and respected figure in the realm of the performing arts. One of Natasha's most remarkable stage performances occurred in the 1998 Broadway revival of Cabaret, where she portrayed Sally Bowles. Set against the backdrop of 1930s Berlin in the Kit Kat Club, Richardson's dynamic range shone effortlessly transitioning from the vivacious and seductive performer to the vulnerable and emotionally torn character. This portrayal earned her the prestigious Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, a remarkable achievement underscoring her exceptional talent and unwavering dedication to her craft. Sally Bowles wasn't just a career milestone for Richardson. It was a role infused with raw and poignant energy that captivated audiences night after night. Simultaneously, in the world of cinema, Natasha continued to make her mark with a series of diverse and challenging roles. Her performance in The Parent Trap, where she played the elegant and loving mother Elizabeth James, brought her widespread recognition and endeared her to a new generation of filmgoers. This family comedy showcased Natasha's ability to engage with a lighter, more humorous genre, demonstrating her versatility as an actress capable of transcending boundaries and genres. In the realm of television, Richardson's performances were equally compelling. Her role in the 2001 miniseries Haven, where she portrayed the real-life journalist and humanitarian Ruth Gruber, demonstrated her ability to embody complex real-life figures, infusing depth and authenticity into her characters. This portrayal served as a testament to her talent and reflected her willingness to tackle serious and challenging material. As the 2000s unfolded, Natasha Richardson continued to evolve as an artist, leaving an enduring legacy marked by her exceptional talent, versatility, and a commitment to exploring the multifaceted dimensions of storytelling across various mediums. Natasha Richardson continued to navigate the delicate balance between her film and stage career with remarkable agility. Her return to the Broadway stage in 2005, assuming the iconic and demanding role of Blanche Du Bois in A Streetcar Named Desire, marked another pinnacle in her illustrious career. Tackling such a complex character, Richardson delivered a performance that resonated with power and deep emotional resonance, capturing the fragile and tragic essence of Blanche. Simultaneously, her film roles during this period were equally impressive. In Made in Manhattan, she portrayed Caroline Lane, a high society figure with an elegance and nuance that showcased her ability to seamlessly adapt to different genres, appealing to a diverse audience. Natasha's deliberate choice of roles reflected her personal interests and passions, often gravitating toward characters that were complex, multifaceted, and challenged the status quo. Her filmography during these years demonstrated a thoughtful selection of roles, each contributing uniquely to her artistic journey. Behind the curtains, Natasha Richardson stood as a paragon of unwavering dedication to her craft. Renowned for her meticulous preparation, she fully immersed herself in each role, tirelessly pursuing authenticity and delivering performances that were both genuine and compelling. Colleagues sang praises for her professionalism, collaborative spirit, and a commitment that extended beyond personal excellence to inspire the best in those around her. Over the course of her career, Richardson's performances consistently garnered acclaim from both critics and audiences alike. Her unique ability to forge a profound connection with her characters resonated deeply with viewers, positioning her as one of the most revered actresses of her generation. Her success transcended mere accolades and awards. It was rooted in the last impact she made on audiences through the immersive experiences she crafted on both stage and screen. Natasha Richardson embodied a rare amalgamation of emotional depth, technical finesse, and an irresistibly magnetic presence. Her performances transcended the realm of mere act, transforming into immersive journeys that etched an indelible impression on the hearts of those who witnessed them. The trajectory of her success, spanning both screen and stage, served as a testament to her unwavering pursuit of artistic excellence, fearless embrace of challenging roles, and an enduring passion for the profound art of acting, personal life, and relationships. Away from the dazzling spotlight and the acclaim of her professional life, 
Natasha Richardson's personal journey unfolded as a rich tapestry woven with love, family, and personal growth. Beyond the stages and film sets, her life was marked by profound relationships, a supportive family, and the inevitable triumphs and challenges that accompany a life well-lived. In the public eye, Natasha's first significant relationship was with producer Robert Fox. Their paths crossed in the vibrant world of London's theater scene, a shared passion that became the fertile ground for their connection. Amidst the backdrop of artistic creativity, their romance flourished, leading to their marriage in 1990. However, as Natasha's career soared and her star continued its ascent, the pressures and demands of their professional lives gradually led them down separate paths. Their union ended in divorce in 1992, but this relationship played a significant role in Natasha's life, marking her early Early years in the realms of fame and art. It was during her Broadway performance in Anna Christie in 1993 that Natasha's life took a turn, a pivotal moment that would shape her personal and professional future. Here she crossed paths with Liam Neeson, a fellow actor on the brink of his own burgeoning career. The chemistry between them was undeniable, both on and off the stage. At the time, Natasha was still married to Robert Fox, and she found herself at a crossroads reminiscent of the romantic films she often starred in. Following her heart, Natasha embarked on a passionate and enduring love story with Neeson, setting the stage for a new chapter in her personal journey. Journey. Natasha and Liam's relationship burgeoned swiftly, fueled by their shared passion for acting and a profound personal connection. They exchanged vows in 1994 in a ceremony that celebrated not only their love, but also their intertwined journey in the world of acting. Their marriage wasn't just a union of two individuals, it was the convergence of two lives deeply rooted in the arts. Quickly becoming one of the most admired and respected couples in Hollywood, they were renowned for their mutual respect, affection, and unwavering support for each other's careers. In 1995, the couple welcomed their first son, Michael, followed by the arrival of their second son, Daniel, in 1996. Motherhood became a role Natasha embraced with the same passion and dedication she brought to her acting. Known as a loving and hands-on mother, she was deeply involved in her son's lives, with her family serving as her anchor, providing a sense of balance and grounding amid the often tumultuous world of show business. Natasha's connection with her family extended beyond her immediate household. She shared a close bond with her mother, Vanessa Redgrave, and her sister, Jolie Richardson, both acclaimed actresses in their own right. This bond was not only familial, but also professional, as they occasionally graced both the screen and stage together, creating memorable moments in the annals of acting history. Throughout her marriage to Liam Neeson, Natasha Richardson was celebrated for her unwavering loyalty, steadfast support, and profound love. Their relationship served as a living testament to shared values, mutual respect, and a deep, enduring bond that withstood the challenges of Hollywood, uniting them in both their personal and professional lives. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Natasha's personal life unfolded as a canvas painted with philanthropic endeavors and advocacy. Motivated by the loss of her father, Tony Richardson, to AIDS-related causes, she channeled her passion into supporting charities dedicated to fighting against AIDS. Her commitment in this realm was not just a homage to her father's memory, it also reflected her profound empathy and an unwavering determination to make a meaningful impact in the world. In her personal connections, Natasha was revered for her warmth, infectious sense of humor, and a genuine ability to forge connections. Friends and colleagues fondly recalled her kindness, graciousness, and the remarkable way she made those around her feel valued and appreciated. Natasha possessed a rare gift for leaving an imprint on lives, not just through her compelling performances, but also through her sincere and authentic interactions. Tragically, Natasha's life met an untimely end in a skiing accident in 2009, delivering a devastating blow to her family, friends, and the multitude of fans who admired her. Her passing left an indelible impact on those who were privileged to know her. However, the legacy she left behind in her personal life was as significant as her professional achievements. Natasha Richardson's life unfolded as a masterpiece of love, resilience, and the enduring power of family and relationships. Her journey off-screen and outside the theater became a testament to the strength of her character and the profound depths of her heart. Before we go on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Hello viewers, let's reflect on the unfortunate circumstances surrounding this picture. This is how the Game of Twins actress died. 
Natasha Richardson. The Game of Twins actress left us at the age of 45, leaving behind a life that seemed to have more to offer. The skiing accident that claimed her life, initially perceived as a minor incident, took a tragic turn. The lingering question arises, could there have been an underlying sickness that went unnoticed, seizing the opportunity presented by the situation? It's a somber thought considering the unexpected nature of her untimely departure. We invite you, the viewers, to share your thoughts on this skiing accident and the speculation surrounding Natasha Richardson's passing. Feel free to express your opinions and insights in the comment section below. The Tragic Accident This is how the Game of Twins actress died, Natasha Richardson. In March 2009, the trajectory of Natasha Richardson's life abruptly shifted, leading to an event that not only profoundly impacted her family, but also left an enduring mark on public consciousness. This pivotal chapter, while undeniably painful, offers a poignant reminder of life's fragility and its capacity to unfold in unforeseen ways. In the early days of March 2009, Natasha, seeking a brief escape from the demands of her high-profile life, traveled to the Mont Tremblant Resort in Quebec, Canada, accompanied by her two sons. This retreat was intended as a leisurely getaway, providing Natasha with an opportunity to share quality time with her children while her husband, Liam Neeson, was engaged in filming in Toronto. On March 16th, Natasha, not an experienced skier, opted to enroll in a beginner's ski lesson, a seemingly innocuous decision made in the spirit of embracing the scenic surroundings and perhaps acquiring a new skill. The day unfolded with clear skies, inviting slopes, and a cheerful, relaxed atmosphere at the resort. Natasha, known for her eagerness to embrace new experiences, approached the lesson with her characteristic enthusiasm. However, tragedy struck during the lesson when Natasha experienced a fall, losing her balance during a free ski turn, she tumbled down the slope. Initially, the fall appeared minor, with Natasha remaining conscious, alert, and even exchanging jokes with her instructor. Given the seemingly benign nature of the incident, she declined medical attention. Yet what initially seemed like a minor mishap quickly evolved into a dire emergency. Within hours of the fall, Natasha began complaining of a headache, intensifying rapidly. It became evident that her condition was far more serious than initially perceived, marking the commencement of a harrowing and ultimately tragic sequence of events. Initially taken to a local hospital near the ski resort, Natasha's deteriorating condition underscored the gravity of the situation. Following her skiing accident, Natasha's critical condition necessitated urgent transport to the Hôpital du Sacré-Cœur de Montréal a larger medical facility better equipped to handle severe cases. Upon her arrival, Natasha found herself in a precarious state. Upon learning of his wife's accident, Liam Neeson hastily made the journey from Toronto to Montreal, a trip laden with both physical and emotional weight. When he arrived at the hospital, Liam was confronted with the harsh reality of Natasha's condition, her life hanging in the balance. Gathered in a somber assembly, family, friends, and loved ones clung to hope while grappling with the grim reality of Natasha's situation. The medical diagnosis unveiled a severe traumatic brain injury, specifically an epidural hematoma, characterized by bleeding between the skull and the brain's covering. This type of injury can be misleading. Victims might initially appear unaffected after the trauma, only to rapidly deteriorate as pressure builds inside the skull. This deceptive phenomenon, referred to as the talk and die syndrome, can postpone the recognition of the injury's severity. On March 18th, merely two days after the tragic incident, a heart-wrenching decision was made to discontinue Natasha's life support. Tragically, her injuries were deemed irreversible, and at the tender age of 45, Natasha Richardson was pronounced brain dead. Her vibrant and dynamic life met an abrupt and sorrowful conclusion, sending shockwaves not only through the entertainment industry, but also reverberating far beyond. Colleagues, friends, and admirers from every corner of the globe united to pay heartfelt tribute, expressing profound sorrow and disbelief at the untimely loss of such a remarkably talented and cherished actress. The impact of this tragic event weighed heavily on her family, particularly her husband and sons, creating an unimaginable void, a loss that cut short the life of a beloved wife, mother, and companion. Legacy and Impact the premature departure of Natasha Richardson created a profound void not only in the realms of film and theater, but also beyond. 
leaving an enduring impact. However, her legacy transcends the characters she portrayed on screen and stage. It is intricately woven into the fabric of the arts community. The lives she touched and the changes she inspired position her as a figure of lasting influence and significance in the performing arts. Natasha's indelible impact is evident in her versatile and profound contributions as an actress. She redefined the notion of seamlessly transitioning between the intensity of theater and the subtlety of film. Natasha brought forth a unique blend of vulnerability and strength to her roles, imprinting a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Her performances in iconic works like Cabaret, The Parent Trap, and A Streetcar Named Desire, among others, serve as testaments to her remarkable talent and unwavering dedication to her craft. Natasha demonstrated to the world that an actress could embody both fierce power and deep sensitivity, pioneering a path for future generations of performers. Her influence extended beyond the silver screen to the Broadway community, where she was not only a celebrated actress, but also a beloved figure. Natasha's commitment to theater, exemplified by her Tony Award-winning performance in Cabaret, established her as a role model for aspiring actors. Her approach to acting, marked by deep immersion and relentless passion, set a benchmark for excellence in the performing arts. Natasha's enduring legacy in theater serves as an inspiration for unwavering dedication, emphasizing the profound impact of live performances in moving and transforming audiences. Beyond the realms of the stage and screen, Natasha's tragic demise left a lasting imprint on ski safety awareness. The circumstances surrounding her accident brought to light the critical importance of wearing helmets while skiing, sparking increased public discourse on safety measures in mountainous terrains. Subsequently, there was a noticeable surge in helmet usage among skiers and snowboarders, a shift attributed in part to heightened awareness stemming from Natasha's unfortunate incident. This change in safety consciousness stands as a poignant facet of Natasha's legacy, one that continues to contribute to the protection of lives. Natasha's commitment to charitable causes, particularly her advocacy in the fight against AIDS, forms another crucial dimension of her legacy. Inspired by her father's battle with the disease, she became an ardent supporter of AIDS-related charities and fundraising initiatives. Her active participation in events such as Amfar's Cinema Against AIDS Gala and the American Foundation for AIDS Research underscored her compassion and unwavering dedication to making a meaningful difference through advocacy. Natasha's efforts helped raise awareness and funds for AIDS research, illustrating the influential role that celebrities can play in fostering positive social change. Natasha's personal impact on those who were fortunate enough to know her is a significant facet of her legacy. Colleagues, friends, and family members consistently speak of her warmth, kindness, and the positive energy she infused into every interaction, whether on set or in her personal life. Natasha's genuine ability to connect with people left an enduring imprint on those who had the privilege of crossing paths with her. This personal legacy is particularly poignant as it delves into the character of the woman beyond the captivating roles she brilliantly portrayed. Natasha's family, especially her husband Liam Neeson and their two sons, Michael and Daniel, actively contribute to upholding her legacy. In a touching tribute, Michael chose to alter his last name to Richardson, symbolizing his desire to perpetuate his mother's memory and keep it close to him. Both sons have openly shared the profound influence their mother had on their lives, impacting not only their personal values, but also shaping their professional paths. This familial legacy, nurtured in love and remembrance, serves as a profound and personal way to keep Natasha's spirit alive. In the years following her untimely death, Natasha Richardson continues to be remembered through various tributes and memorials. Each of these commemorations celebrates her life and significant contributions to the arts. Natasha's memory frequently surfaces in discussions about theater and film, acting as a poignant reminder of the profound impact a single artist can have on their industry. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.